Hey guys, it's Fish here, and today I'm going to be doing another Total War online battle. And in this battle, I was playing on Total War Room 2. I was playing against History Dude. I just named it History Dude quickly. Um, go check out his channel, be in the description. Um, it's not a live commentary, but it's just a replay. So, let's jump into it. So, I was playing as Macadon. It was a large funds, well, not large funds, but custom funds, and 30 units max. The rest was fine, so that's his army, it's my army. It's quite similar. Um, right, it's loaded, right, let's pause it. Let's play it actually, just so that we can see his army. Right. So basically, I had four units of companion cavalry, all my units are fully upgraded. So, four units of companion cavalry on this flank, with some Thracian warriors, which you've seen in my campaign, do very good melee attack and charge bonus. I have my Agrianian Axemen, which not only are good Peltas, but they can also do good in melee. Um, there, and then three Cretan Archers. And then four Sarissa Cavalry on this side, which kind of was a bad buy, because I should have just gone with cam Campanion, but I wanted the, the speed on one flank. And then my centre was some Shield Bearers. Which is quite good. And then I think five units of foot companions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units of uh, foot companions with another shield bearers on this side. Then I have three thorax swordsmen, followed by two, no, three royal pel peltas, sorry. And then his army was a lot more varied than mine. So he had uh, four units of Tarantine cavalry, two on this side, two on the other. Two units of scythe chariots, um, one here, one on the other side, and then some Ptolemaic cavalry, which are pretty similar to companion cavalry, I think. I don't know what the exact difference is. In fact, it might be slightly better. I'm not sure, but they they're there. Um, they had some thorax swordsmen, no, royal thorax swordsmen. Do what difference is? Guess it's just the Egyptian version. So Karen Axe Men. Um I think there's two of these. Yeah, there's two of them, so they're quite good. They're just uh like medium tier kind of they're okay. Um they can throw their axes or their javelins for quite a while. So how many thoraxes do you have? One, two, three. So three thorax and then his centre was oh no, four thorax, sorry. The centre was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Hellenic Royal Guard, which are pike, pike units. Pretty cool. Um, and he had two units of Light Peltasts, um, Nubian Bowmen, and then three Cretan Archers. And then, as I said before, Chariots, Rolmate Cavalry, Tarantine Cavalry. So let's see how this battle went. So, that's my general. That's in there. Yeah, so I move my pike phalanx forwards, followed by my swordsmen, and then archers and stuff in front. These shield bearers on each side. I move the Thracians and the cavalry. And then the other cavalry. And then I think I reposition one of these two shield bearers in a second, just because it was a very good like line. So yeah, my Sarissas are ready to do some damage. Uh, three of my companion cavalry are hidden, and he is quite lazy with using his cavalry. He he does like the basic orders, then he kind of fakes an infantry a bit, and I kind of catch up and slash his cavalry, which we'll see in a second. So I didn't get a proper evaluation of his line, I just saw that he had a, a quite a wide line. So I moved my guys up. Now uh, they are in range of his light peltasts. They're just out of range, but uh, I don't do any proper orders on them until later on. So they're just firing light peltasts instead of the archers. So they are getting quite badly wrecked, as you can see there. Um, 
my pikes come down and my infantry is pretty much ready my cavalry are now approaching uh, I do send one unit off to make sure these sky chariots don't rank me too bad I think nah I didn't thought I did so the sky chariots will get quite a few kills from that because they got these little I guess scythes on the side little spears that spin around on the wheels and uh, and they're just going to cut through So yeah, um, they managed to get inside of me, and then their Ptolemaic Cavalry is kind of wrecking my Cirrus's. And on this side, my companions have engaged the rear of these guys, because he moved his line up like that. And so, I got this one down to 61, they were still on 80, they're still on 80, these guys are on 80. So I was, I was attacking this unit, uh, this companion cavalry is still chasing that one. I think this is the moment where it caught my companions caught up with his Tarantines, but they don't they don't get smashed too bad, they, they can do quite well in melee. Then I bring this unit back, um, just going to recharge into his cavalry to kind of take them out. My Swisses are still getting wrecked quite bad, um, they've taken out two of their chariots, I think. Yeah, it's two of their chariots. Um, and then I make a mistake and I just charge them all into this unit I think by accident instead of uh, sending one back to attack his scythed chariots now my last cavalry units come in he's trying to trying to uh, bring his guys away my Thracians are meant to be charging their his chariots but they don't and they just kind of get wrecked I've uh, got Thracians attacking his pikes they're not doing too well and then some attacking his royal thoraxes then my companion cavalry come in to chase after his Ptolemaic cavalry and his sky chariots. Meanwhile, my Agrionian axemen fall back behind my lines where they can just fire on his pikes. Like this unit, for example, is on 26. And they haven't even gone into melee yet. But I think my pikes run pretty much full. Uh, I managed to route his chariots and bring all my Cirruses into the combat over here. Then one of my Cirruses routes and the other one's um, wavering. Then he leaves his cavalry out over here. So I had these guys firing, but then they run up ammo, so they charge in. And they do quite a bit of damage, I think. Even though their missiles still look good in melee, so yeah, taken out a couple of his cavalry already. Then this one comes in to help. I've just finished off the Tarantine cavalry. So my guys, I do order them in a bit to come back and help. He kind of leaves this unit out there, and like he says in the reserve, I think he just forgot that on there. Um, he's brought back his carrion axemen, and they're firing on me, which is doing big damage because my guys don't have too much armor. Um, my Agrianans have pretty much routed his Ptolemaic cavalry now, and my Cirruses are still holding on slightly, but now that one's just routed. This one's wavering now. Pretty much getting wrecked by his Ptolemaic cavalry, but they didn't do too bad. They did get lots of kills on them, which is quite nice. And he hasn't even used these two Tarantines yet. Um, this Thorax sword has been completely sandwiched uh, by his, and I do send these Thoraxes to go help in a second, I think. Not too sure. Um, I send my Agrianians back to chase these pikes but then he intercepts with the thoraxes but I attack them I do alright my Thracians because they got such low armor they really suffer from these peltasts we're still cutting through his men my objective was to kind of take out these un this unit and then attack his uh, thoraxes problem is they were all upgraded so they it's not like they went down too quickly so there you go it's another companion cavalry gone in, so my companions won, my Cirruses didn't. So I probably should have done eight units of companions instead of Cirruses as well. These guys are still being completely smashed. I wasn't really thinking when I was doing them. This unit com comes around the side, which is quite annoying. It starts attacking my foot companions. So yeah, his, his pikes are pretty much gone. They didn't do too well. Uh, this one, this one did well somehow. I'm really not sure how it broke through my lines, but it just, it just did. And then these royal peltasts are just kind of getting skewered for a bit, and they go down to about like 
like 90 men or something before I finally realised. My Royal Peltas are charged in at his Thorax Swords. My Agrianins were doing okay, but they were getting smashed quite badly, really. I tried to bring out all my companion cavalry so that I can charge in again. Then uh, he, he kind of like envelops around them. I lose this unit of companions and my Thracians carry on fighting. It's quite nice. Got some close ups of this. Um, my companions come in, completely smash into his general and carry an axeman. And well, from there, as you saw there, he just got completely taken out. His general does die. Uh, I can't see him here, but. Um, he dies and then their morale just kind of goes along the line and I I kind of finish off lots of the units on this side but he's he's at the moment he's beating me on this side so my thoraxes are attacking his thoraxes um, yeah I noticed with the royal peltas I moved them out ahead of 98 at the end so yeah he's, he did really well with this Hellenic royal guard um, and I've got my foot companions here. They're getting smashed because of the angle that he put his troops in meant that they were kind of better aligned to kill my guys, which is quite annoying. And his Hellenic Royal Guard kind of just went past me, which meant he started to lose there. My Thoraxes are attacking his. Um, and same with the Creature and Archers, but slightly outmatched because um, they are quite a bit better. The Royal Thoraxes, and they got more of them. His cavalry is sitting out there. He's got one unit out here as well. Kind of his mistake for not noticing. So I've taken out his general and the unit. His general's dead, so the morale kind of dropped. And then I attacked the rear of this Royal Thorax unit. And from there, it kind of goes bad. He's got 62. It just drops, and they were out. So I can focus all my infantry on this pike unit, take them out as quick as possible. And then I can bring my cavalry back and attack his bowmen, which still had ammo, was still firing, which is quite annoying. So yeah, I charge at these guys and then and then try like basically go along the whole line, just smashing into all of them. So yeah, this unit as well. Attack that unit, doesn't do too much, and then just straight away go onto this unit, try and just go along the line routing them all. So I can come round and get a side on attack on these guys. His pikemen on this side um, are still going, they're not really doing much, in a bit of an odd formation. And I hadn't really noticed, but my foot companions were being flanked. I thought these guys would like cover them, but they hadn't. Then I've got these three against the pike unit. And it's still facing the wrong way, so that's a bit of a fail. And yeah, I smashed them quite quickly. His Cretan Archers are getting quite badly smashed. Right, they've routed now, so I think I just attack. Yeah, I attack the rear of uh, these two to try and get them to go away because they're annoying me damaging my pikes. Companion cavalry went into the back of this pike unit by accident as well. Didn't mean to do that. Then he starts bringing his Tarantines round. So I chase my Cretans after them. And he brings his cavalry in as well. I think it was meant to be running them through, but um, kind of messed up a little. Then I try and attack his Tarantines um, with my archers, which yeah, doesn't do good. Um, he's managed to get this unit through, but not this one. This one kind of got caught up. And I really don't want my general to die, because all of a sudden he started to do really well with his with his men. So then uh, I send all these guys in to side, side attack them. There's, there's the leader of that unit, about to get wrecked. Um, my companions, uh, yeah, he brought in these guys a bit, so I went to chase them. And then I came back once they'd run away. Uh, these Hellenic Royal Guards are getting smashed, so I charged into the unit next to them, which was completely like out of formation and getting wrecked. 
Oh, that went straight through his face. Yeah, charging to the back of it. It wasn't a very good charge, but it did its job. Routed them. So yeah, then I've just basically taken out this whole flank, but he's he's still got the edge in many places. And then I'm just still charging these Cretans out, just just to kind of distract his Tarantines. Uh, he moves his, his royal thoraxes on, for some reason. And then my guys are just kind of left standing there for a bit. I don't really use them. So I'm not really paying attention to that. They do they do have a couple of javelins left to fire, apparently, though. It says they're firing. Um, yeah, the royal thoraxes... Oh, the royal thoraxes are going to start smashing mine. And so then, but I've got all these units to attack him with. Uh, I think that's the end of my archers. There's two left. But they did. They did very good at distracting him. So what's this? Correct. Um, I bring my lines up. I'm trying to sort out which units which. So I've got my pikemen lined up there. I just send the melee capable ones into him there. I do a side, side flank with these guys, but the pikes, because they're weird formation, they actually manage to start getting kills on my cavalry, which is quite weird. And so then uh, I had to bring my companions out quite quickly because they were getting wrecked, which is quite annoying. Um, so yeah, like the pikemen, just such a weird formation that they managed to actually do damage to me. It really quite annoying. So then I try and go for the rear flank instead, but then he brings up his Tarantines, but they're out of ammo, apparently. Um, so then I charge into them. I think he wasn't really paying attention with them, and was just kind of running them across trying to fire at me. So then I smash into them, and they're actually doing alright in uh, melee because of their upgrades. So they don't completely destroy me too quickly. And he's still got tons of ammo, so I chase after him with two pike units on these guys. Basically his infantry's gone now. All thoraxes, Ptolemaic cavalry. Somehow these cavalry still survived. Just standing there. His thoraxes. Well that's actually my thoraxes. His thoraxes are these guys. There's, there's still this one pike unit just doing nothing pretty much. My Agrianian Axeman. Oh, ouch! Um, go on, Agrianians. Um, yeah, so he starts to break one of my companion cavalry. So I bring out my Agrianians and Royal Peltasts. That's what I bring out to try and help smash his Tarantines, which are kind of mainly on this flank and this flank because the centre just been destroyed by the charge so one of my companion cavalry breaks and then his Tarantine starts a waver so then he goes into melee against one of my foot companions which wasn't really very well organised, it's like facing to the side and then this one's coming in to take up the rear just to take out this last Tarantine there and then he's he's tried to charge in with this Tarantine as well but I, I do face one of the units to attack them, but all his units are wavering now, GG. I charge, I you know, flank the cavalry, but then that unit breaks, they, they all break. I just charge them all. So yeah, that's about it for this episode, guys. Let's have a look at these kills first, and I'll see you in the next one.